Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. entry video for the finish it in February group build now this group build is actually hosted by Charlie Mack and as I understand co-hosted by Tim over at Throttle Power um, if I'm incorrect about that let me know but uh, anyway thanks guys for hosting this build and uh, yeah you kind of got me thinking F3D2 Sky Knight uh, a rare aircraft in its own. I went and did just a little bit of research yesterday uh, before I decided to do this video. And the Sky Knight, they only made like 280 of them total. But anyway, um, this aircraft was mainly used as a night fighter in, uh, in, in Korea. Uh, we're talking about, you know, the 1950s. This is shortly after World War II. Very early jet engine technology. And uh, yeah, you can kind of look at the aircraft and tell that, that uh, still straight winged, um, it's not very far removed from propeller uh, driven era. So I picked this kit up at Hobby Town USA in Kennesaw, Georgia, probably like three or four years ago. I saw it and uh, of course most of my builds are 148 Navy aircraft, that's the collection that I am trying to build. And I was like, man, this fits perfect. It's a rare aircraft, I, I, I want it. So yeah, I picked it up. Um, Squadron Productions, never really heard of them. Uh, it says it's a limited edition kit. I believe that too, because I hadn't seen it ever since. Once I got into the kit, I kind of realized why I, I haven't seen this thing around very long or very often. So let's take a look. And this is one reason why this kit has been sitting for so long. Now, it's got resin pieces in it. It's got a resin uh, cockpit, and you see that I've already started. I put this, this side panel on. There's another one that'll go on the other side, and I decided to leave that off until I get painting done. But, so it's a resin, and there's other resin pieces, which I don't even know what this is. I would have to go into the uh, the instructions. The main wing wheel wells are resin, and they did not want to fit inside of this wing. Man, it took forever to try and sand everything down and test fit and get it right. And there are no alignment uh, pins or anything on these wing halves to try and align that those resin pieces in there. There were no alignment pins to put the two halves of the wing together. In fact, you can see on this wing where I've started to putty it, it actually had some, some mold imperfections on the top of the wing. And I was like, man, I said, just for, for as much as I paid for this kit, I was like, dang, this thing is, is you know, not a very great kit. I have gotten the engine, I, I, I'm gonna call that a fairing. Uh, for lack of better terms, but that's where the engine mounts. It, it'll actually be on the bottom of the fuselage underneath where the wing goes. And uh, if you look, I don't know if you can see that, but I had a, a, a well of a time getting the intake. There's like six different pieces that make up this intake, and none of them lined up. Uh, the, the fairing, as you can see here on the bottom, it don't line up to the fuselage. The exhaust didn't want to line up. And just, man, I had a hard time getting all that put together. But let's look at something else. On the inside of the fuselage halves, you notice that I have glued all of these extra pieces in here. That's because there are no locators for the cockpit, for the nose landing gear. There's no locator pins for the two fuselage halves when they go together. There's nothing there. So. Yeah, I've, I've used sprue um, and, and other things and, and just kind of glued it in place. Test fitting um, the, the nose landing gear wheel well is, is a resin piece. 
So yeah, I've had to test fit all of this stuff into the kit just to try and make it all work. Now, another thing, uh, point this out real quick. You'll notice there are some holes that I have drilled in the wing root where it meets the fuselage. I put those holes there on the wing. No alignment tabs, no, no anything. It's just supposed to be glued on there and it don't even fit. Yeah, the wing is much thicker than the wing root on, on the fuselage. Uh, so this kit is just, it, it's been a real pain. Um, I mean, I have spent countless hours sanding, just trying to get stuff to fit. And uh, I, I know that this thing is probably gonna end up being a glue bomb by the time we get done with it. Oh, okay, here's something else. Check this out. I don't know if you can see it or not. That's the canopy. The canopy is in three separate clear pieces. So you gotta glue that together and try not to, try not to get glue on, on parts that aren't supposed to be. And I'm telling you, this, this is a challenging kit. The instructions, uh, pretty good looking instructions. And it actually gives you three different variants that, that you can build on this aircraft. And I'm gonna build the Navy version. It's gonna be the blue one, but um, yeah. The instructions. These are resin pieces, but it doesn't tell you what to trim off or what not to trim off. Uh, it just tells you what colors to paint them. So you're not sure what you're keeping and what you're not keeping. And that makes it kind of difficult that uh, it doesn't really explain any of that. Um, it's all, like I said, it's all just pictures. Check it out where it says to put the fuselage halves together. Yeah, you just slide it in, glue it together. There's, like I said, there's no alignment pieces or anything in there. So uh, definitely a, uh, a difficult kit to try and assemble. Uh, these, these instructions, all they, although they look pretty decent, they are lacking uh, pretty bad. Now the one thing I did like is it tells you, make sure you put a nose weight in the nose of it, especially if you're gonna have it trying to sit on its landing gear. Well, there you go. This is my entry into the Finish It in February group build. 2021, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? This thing, goodness, anyhow. Um, so before I go, one other thing. I have a shop card from Rick Zink. So I want to do a shout out for Rick Zink skeletal remains i mean this is a cool looking shop card i mean check it out look at the one laying there um yeah that's uh i wished i could be that laid back and just you know lay in there in, in my bones and just having a little drink but rick thanks for the card really appreciate it um i, I love the uh the personal message on the back of it um and he actually wrote it to ernie and me um, I appreciate you guys actually including my wife and a lot of the correspondence, a lot of the comments. You know, my wife and I, uh, we, we both appreciate that very much. Uh, so anyhow, I'm going to leave a link for Rick's channel in the description, as well as a link to Charlie Mack, Tim at Throttle Power, and, uh, and to Ernie, uh, in case you guys want to go over and, uh, and check out her channel as well. So. Uh, that's all I got for today. Appreciate you watching. Thank you. Take care. God bless. And remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.